get it. It's the end of a big chunk of our lives, and the future is more uncertain than ever. But as much as waking up scares us, we must remember the nightmare is finally over. We're not as bounded to our duties as before, so... I'm sorry, Chaton, for not being there when you need me most. But I'm here now. Um, wait. Tiki, spots off. Huh? <gasps> Marinette. I'm here. I'm here. It's okay. We can be ourselves now. Shadow Moth won't weaponize our feelings anymore. No more white nightmares with blue eyes. What? Nothing. Uh, about tonight. I wasn't home because I'm a close friend of Adrian Agrest. And since after the battle, me and our other classmates have tried to communicate with him. But none of us succeeded. His whole world has crumbled under him. And he is alone right when he definitely shouldn't be. We're worried he could do something careless. Not like hurting himself. He's never been the type. More like shutting us off and leave to live in the UK. Or pretend nothing happened and leave. Or just leave. We're actually really scared he wants to leave us. His only family left lives in London. So it makes sense he will, but not like this. He's very important to us, to me, to Alia, to Nino. He was on the verge of a panic attack, so me and Alia took the initiative. We met at Chloe's place, bigger than my room, with our friends to discuss how to approach the Adrian situation and calm ourselves down. We just wanted to talk about how to contact him, but the conversation took an unpredicted route. My Adrian cannot be a bloody center monster. This is it, citizens of Paris. Shadow Moth is finally cornered and out of Akuma's. Ladybug and Chat Noir are shouting something. We'll get our drones closer. Just give up already! This madness will stop now, Monsieur Agrest. Have we heard it right? It can't be. Gabriel Agrest? Hawk, uh, Shadow Moth was Gabriel. You. Fine, then. Take my freedom. Take my last hope. But I have a last request for you. Take the burden I've carried all my soul all these years, too. What is he talking about? Is he really our infamous super terrorist? I've never seen her so angry. We're all so tired after three years. I get it. You are in no position to make any request. Now put down your miraculousness and go against that wall, face first. Right? She's very young, isn't she? I would be pretty cranky, too, if I were forced to be a child soldier. Won't be a tree man for long after your stupid move. I have to give you way more than these fools. Tell him, Ladybug. Mon, aggressed. I'm so tired of all this murder. I don't want to hear your stupid plan or motivation, sad backstory, or anything else. This nightmare ends now. You will answer to the police, to the law, to the citizen of Paris, and to your son about your crimes. End of sad story about sad fashion icon Gabriel Agrest. Mm. You're quite right about what I owe Adrian. This is why I ask you to give him back his freedom. I don't need it anymore. Also, it's best if you're the one to tell him the truth. What? You don't... you don't own him? How dare you? What do you mean? I just wish to give him back this ring. It's imperative it reaches Adrian without getting touched by anyone who would want revenge on me. I would rather give it to you, heroes, than letting an officer touch it. I value it more than my own life, and I trust you will, too. My son's a muck. <gasps> huh? What? Monogrest, a word? Was your father's assistant Miss Sankir Mayura? Were you actively involved in his plans? How does it feel like to know your father has been public enemy number one all along? What would you like to say to your father's victims? How would you describe not being human? How is it possible to live under the same roof as Shadow Moth and not even notice? Are you aware of your mother comatose body in your basement? Are you planning to cut out her life support? Do you plan to reach your only free family left in London? Or will you appeal for early emancipation? Do you ever have free will? How does it feel to have freedom? Do you plan on giving any founding to the Hawkmoth Victims Association? When will you give a press conference? Can you feel pain? Have you ever been to a hospital? Did someone notice something was off? Are you capable of feeling any real emotion? From what we know about Sentimonsters, you're factually immortal. How do you cope with that? Are you scared about losing your muck? Are you going to get exterminated to confirm your father's words? Mm -mm. Uh-uh. Adrian, I... um... Maybe you should answer them. Your friends, I mean. 
Dude, Ladybug just told us she found out who Shadow Moth is. Just call me ASAP. Dude, the battle's gonna start soon. Please call me. Birdie. Me and Ali are out of it already. These Akumas are crazy. Now you can call me. Please, I don't want you to find out on TV. Adrian, when you're done talking to him, please, could you answer our calls? I'm just... We want to tell you stuff. I get it if you don't want to right now. Just, just tell me when I can call, okay? 4.16 p.m. I only need her. I don't think this is the best idea. Plague? Claws out! Oh, you're already here. Good. Did you bring the ring to Adrian safely? Good evening to you, too. Oh, I'm sorry, Kitty. It's not like I don't trust you or anything. It's just, I'm very concerned for Adrian's safety, that's all. Hm. You can relax now. The Amok is safe with its own scented monster. Everyone lived happily ever after. Okay, what's the matter with you tonight? First, you run off with Adrian's ring without saying a word, and now you're randomly rude towards him. And we're still unsure if he even really is a scented monster, so... I'm sorry, it's just, I wanted to visit this girl I like. I really, really needed her tonight, but she wasn't home. It really bothers me, among other things. This isn't the glorious victory night I imagined at all. Ugh. <sighs>